So the SEC announced that for 2025, they're going to stick to the eight-game schedule. And they went ahead and put out who everybody's going to play, which technically is just the same games in reverse from the 2024 season. But for Oklahoma, that means, just like Florida, they'll have the toughest schedule in college football. But it looks like Oklahoma will supplant Florida as the, as the toughest schedule in college football next season, depending on how 2024 turns out. Let's dive into that and also what it means today that the SEC announced that 2025 is going to look like this because I think it's kind of letting us know what 2026 is going to be. And there's a couple of key games we got to talk about. So before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. Yeah, y'all know what it is. I'm not home, so we're on the go. But we got to talk about this because the way this schedule is laid out, there's a couple of key games to talk about. It looks like we have an idea where Red River is going to be. Plus, we also have an idea of how Oklahoma is going to be navigating the toughest schedule in college football. So let's dive into it, right? So Oklahoma, of course, tweeted this out, 2025 schedule. Here's your non-con. There's two games on there that y'all should, you know, go ahead and circle and pencil in. And we'll talk about some of the key things about this. But first off, Michigan's coming to town. Second game of the season, Oklahoma will play Michigan in Norman. So... Michigan head coach Sharon Moore makes his return back to Norman as the head coach of Michigan this time around. And we get to see them, um, you know, if, if, if we're ready to play with them, right? I mean, Michigan's the national champs. You know, they also super physical Big Ten school. So now we get to see how we match up against them. And that's, that's one key game to keep in mind. And I think that's what propels Oklahoma to having the toughest schedule in the SEC, or actually in the country, period with the rest of the schedule and the way the gauntlet's going to look. Then on top of that, Oklahoma makes a travel on the non-con by doing a home and home with Temple, which is not very common, right? You don't really see very many G5s get the opportunity to host a team like Oklahoma in a non-con setup like this. And but Oklahoma's going up to Philadelphia. They're going to play Temple. It's going to be a fun game, right? Now, let's look at this SEC schedule. SEC-wise, Oklahoma will actually have four home games this season, meaning four games in actual Norman SEC-wise, and then they'll have three games on the road in the SEC. But they'll technically have four away games. Let me explain what that means. So for 2024, if you notice, that Oklahoma only hosts three teams in the SEC, right? They host Tennessee, they host South Carolina, and they host Alabama. That's it, Right. So you would be like, okay, well, that's three home games. What about the fourth one? Well, of course, as you know, Red River is a neutral side game. Technically, Oklahoma is the home team going into that game next year in this coming season. So that's where our fourth home game comes in. Now, we'll only be traveling four times all of next season because to me, Dallas is just South Oklahoma, right? We own that city. That's, that's just kind of what it is, right? Red River. But... Traveling to Philadelphia and then traveling to Tuscaloosa, Columbia, South Carolina, and then Knoxville, Tennessee, which I cannot wait to get back to Knoxville. Fantastic city. Nayland is amazing. Love Vols fans. Love everything there. And then, of course, Red River, which is technically our quote-unquote away game. So Texas will have the other setup. But looking at that, this tells me that there's a chance that Red River is going to be one of two weekends, either the second or the third Saturday in October, right? I'm sensing it's going to be the second. George Stoyer tweeted that out. And, uh, shout out to him over there, Sooner Scoops. Because when you look at it, Kent State on October 4th, that tells me that, oh, the next game is going to be, then Texas is going to be right after that. It has to be, right? That means that the second weekend and the third weekend in September is going to be a bye week. So it'll be three non-cons, bye, and then you'll have the Kent State game, which is a little interesting unless they slide an SEC game in there, which that is also a possibility. I could totally see them having Oklahoma host a game, one of the games between Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss, or even Missouri right there in in that, that September range, which is actually two more weekends in there. So one of those weekends or both may be filled by a SEC opponent. Then you're going to have Texas right after. Texas is always during the state fair. And so the 11th makes the most sense. I don't see them pushing it down to the 18th of October. The 11th sounds like the one that makes sense since it's not going to be the first weekend in October. Because it usually fluctuates between those two. It's either the first 
or the second weekend in October. Looks like it's going to be the second. And so that's going to be a big one. But that Michigan game is going to be huge, right, with Michigan coming to town. Oklahoma gets to host Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss, and Missouri next year. So they get to come see our stadium. We get to have some fun with that. But I'm excited about that. Now, what this means long-term for the SEC, the goal for the SEC was to push for nine conference games, right? And since they decided to announce for 2025, I'm assuming 2026, they're going to nine games, and I can totally see the conference expanding again. I think that's why they went ahead and said 2025 is going to be this. We'll set it in stone. That way, when 2026 comes around, we can really start to revamp things. And I sense that's what they're going to do. They're going to figure it out, and there's a great chance that college football may be completely different at that point. So it makes sense to get ahead of it right now by saying, look, we're going to go ahead and have this schedule out and anticipate there's going to be changes in the landscape of college football come 2026. And so that season, good chance it'll be nine games as well as potential adding more teams. Now, I, I don't I don't know. That there's nothing out there saying it's going to happen. But, I mean, if you just read the tea leaves, it feels like we're going that direction. And so since that's the case, I anticipate that – We'll see nine games, and we'll possibly see some expansion. But, yeah, man, Oklahoma's going to have a fun schedule. That Michigan, Illinois State to start the season off in Norman, then Michigan coming to town, and then traveling to Philly, and then coming back. Or, I mean, in between those two games, there'll be some SEC matchups, and then Kent State right before Texas. You know, you can't beat that, right? Feels like that's the um, the Kent State game has got to be our SEC you know, bye week game, I guess you could say. And the crazy thing is next season you don't get two bye weeks. And since that's the case, Oklahoma's got to be prepared for that. Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. How you feeling about this schedule, right? Uh, what y'all think about that? Do you think it's going to be the toughest schedule in college football next year? I asked that question because unless until we see what 2024 looks like, there's a good chance that uh, it may not be that tough. We may actually fall down and tumble, tumble down because Michigan may be our toughest one, depending on how the opposition looks in 2024. You made this far like the content. Please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Love for you to join this family, college football fans. Talk a lot of ball here. OU football, college football in general, and SEC football. Having a blast doing it. So we'll break down the whole SEC schedule for everybody else. Kind of the games that we really want to look at. We'll do that a little bit later. But uh, I'm going to go enjoy some college basketball, and we'll talk soon. Peace.